Welcome. We are going to do a weight training series for you. This is for beginners and seniors, really anyone. Um, you need just a small space, a chair, and one pair of hand weights, or you can use soup cans. Um, I'm going to take you through a brief warm up, y'all, because I'm not sure what you've done before this. Hopefully, you've done one of my cardio videos, or maybe you've gone for a little walk. Let's start with shoulder rolls. Five more. Yes. This is going to focus on your upper body and core. So we're going to warm up the upper body and core. Good. Now lean your head to one side. And then the other side. And then the other side. And then the other side. Five more. Here. Here. Take it in and out, in and out, back and chest, head down, head up, down and up, five more. One more, and now hold your arms out, warm up the back a little bit. And lastly, just rest, rest, good, and a big inhale up, exhale, one more, inhale up, exhale, okay, I have six really good major muscle group exercises for y'all. We're going to do two sets of 15, two exercises per major muscle group. Get your hand weights. The first one is an upright row, feet together, overhand grip, elbows high, and low. Here we go. Now you may be going faster than me, and that's okay. You may be going slower than me, and that's okay. The idea is that you have great form, that you're breathing. Good, we're halfway there, y'all. This works the trapezius, which are the upper muscles behind your upper back. Two more. And 15, we're gonna move to the next exercise for your upper back. It's called a bent over row. You might want to use your chair to lean on. One arm is straight down. Lift the elbow up and down. Ready? Go. Now you don't need to strain your neck looking at me. I'm not changing anything. There. Good range of motion, y'all. Three more. One more. And stand up. Grab your other weights. Let's go to our second set. Upright rows. Up and down. Fifteen again. Two sets of everything today. And that's what I would recommend with most strength training exercises. Six, seven, eight. You're halfway there. And make sure you're not gripping tightly on your weights. They need to be a loose grip because we want that blood and oxygen to be free flowing right now. One more. And bent over row again, but this time you're going to do the opposite side. Lean down and lift the elbow up and down. Lift. Lift. You're halfway there. Keep going. 
going, y'all. You're doing great. Two more. And one. Good job. You've already finished your first section. The next one's going to be for your tricep. The tricep is the muscle right here in the back. It's our pushing muscle, our vacuuming muscles, our long going muscles. Weights in your right hand, just gonna be over your head. It's gonna come behind your body and up. Behind your body and up. You don't need to have your hand there, but I like it there for two reasons. I like to feel my muscle working. It's also a reminder for me to keep my elbow up high. You're halfway there, y'all. Now I'm talking at the same time, so I may have, you may be getting 14, you may be getting 15 or 16, but we're all good. Around the same number. One more. Good job. Now that same weight is gonna take you to the next exercise. A tricep kickback. Not to be confused with the first one. The elbow is now back. You push back and in. Ready? Push. Now it should not look like a swing. It's a controlled push. Feel free to slow any of these down. You're halfway there. Maybe you could squeeze that muscle when it's tight and straight. Two more. And 15. Good job. Yay. Weight goes in your left arm. All the way up. Ready? Behind your head. Here and up. Here and up. Good. Now, all of these exercises can be done sitting. But, if you can handle it standing, let's try it. A little bit better. Halfway there. Good. One more. And you're done with that. Good. We go right to the tricep kickbacks. Other side. Remember, elbow stays back. And push. 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 Remember, water at any time. I'm not going to stop for a water break, but please keep it near you and keep hydrated. Five more. Two more. One more. Great job. Two down, four to go. The opposite of tricep are biceps. So we now need both of your weights. Elbows out to the side. Should look like a, like a V. V. Up and down. Good. I hope y'all are doing great. Are you breathing? Make sure you breathe. Don't worry about in with the nose, out with the mouth, none of that. Just breathe regularly. Halfway there. Too much to think about. I usually just tell people in my class to count out loud. If you're counting out loud, then you're exhaling. And if you're exhaling, you gotta inhale. I think that's 13. Too much talking. 14 and 15. Good job. All right, our next bicep exercise is a hammer grip. That means our palms are in. One, two, three, and four. That's our exercise. Try it with me, here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, 
two, three, and four. Good. Now that you know it, let's make it good. Good. Fifteen. That's our magic number today. You're halfway there. Come on, make it good. more. Make it great. Come on, y'all. One. Two more. Two. Last one. Beautiful work. Ooh, good job. Now we have to repeat it. That was one set. So we go back to the beginning. Underhand grip. Ready? Bicep curls. Elbows to the side. Our elbow has a natural angle. That's why I like it out to the sides. Yes, you can do this. Six, seven. You're halfway there. Remember, if you need to take a break and sit down, you could and still keep the arms moving. One more good one. Yes, relax. Now we go to our second set. Remember the one, two, three, four? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You got it. You know it. Would you like to add a little something extra? Tiptoes. Tiptoes. That's optional. You're halfway there. I'm really close to hitting the ceiling fan when I do these. You see me look up? That's why. Come on, you have five more good ones. I know you can do it. Three more. Two more. And last one. Good job. Okay, y'all, we are halfway through. We're gonna hit the shoulders. Weights by your side, bring them out to the side. Out and in. Out and in. To avoid impingement, we want to keep the palms down. And we want to keep it about halfway, right? If our palms are down, we want to keep the arms halfway. Yes. Halfway. Lift. Good job. You got it, come on, five more. Cool. 12, 13, 14, 15, good job. Now our second one is gonna be over the head. So now we need to keep the palms in. Watch me and join in. The right arm comes up, we lower down slowly. The left arm up, we lower down slowly. Ready, let's go all the way so all the way is now okay because our palms are in now we're doing one at a time so really we have like 30 yeah sorry six come on just flop down, right? Make that part of your exercise. So we're halfway, right? We've got 15 more. Around there. And we're breathing, right? And we're having so much fun doing these. <laughs> Six. Just 
just remember how good you feel afterwards. Eight. Do them in the morning, and then you can just conquer your day with a little bit more positivity and enthusiasm. You got three more. Yes. Yes. And yes. Good. So now we gotta repeat that, right? So we go with the outer. Ready? Arms by your sides. And here we go. Now, if these get too difficult, y'all, let me show you an option. Well, you can always do one at a time, right? Because that gives you a little bit more rest break. Or you could bend your elbows. You decide. You have five more of any of those options. Good job. Come on. One more. You can do it. Woo! Yes, that made my body a little warm. Okay, now palms are in. We go all the way up. All the way up. And we're doing one at a time, so this is going to take a little longer. 30 of these. That's 15 on each side. Good math, huh? Woo. Yes. Remember, easy grip on the weights. We're not gripping tightly. You're halfway there, come on. Weight training is so important, y'all. It really helps our muscles stay strong, helps slow the process of Mr. Arthur. Do y'all know Mr. Arthur? Mr. Arthritis, yeah, we know him, right? So keep the muscles strong around the joints, around the arthritic joints, and it'll keep those joints as strong as they can be. And guess what? I have no idea how many more. And when I lose track in class, I say four more. I missed my class because they keep me on track. One more. Close enough, right? Very good job. Okay, we have two more. This one is so important. We want to have the elbows by your sides. Weights together. Watch. Out and in. Look at my elbows. Do you see how they're really tucked in? Nice to the rib cage. Internal and external rotation. Crucial for strengthening our rotator cuff muscles. Good. 10. Have you ever experienced any sort of tear, rotator cuff tear, any sort of rehab after? Now we're doing the rehab before it happens. <laughs> Preventative care. Let's do one more. And relax. Good. I'm going to take you up a next stop, uh, little next level for this one. Now our elbows are higher, weights together. These are harder, so one at a time. Watch. Open and close. Open and close. I really like this. Kind of open up the jacket. We call these open the coats. Six. And guess what? These are going to take longer because we got to do both sides. And I would really like to get 15 on each side. Yes. Yes. So we're about halfway, right? 15 more around there. Let's go. Opening the coats. We are strengthening those deep, deep, deep shoulder muscles. They're the important ones. They're the ones that hold everything together. We have five more. Make them good. One, two, three, four, and five. Woo, yes. All right, we have to repeat that, though. we got to keep it together and do two sets. So we start with the first set. Elbows in. Then elbows. 
to stay in. The weights come out. Good. Five. You got this. Six. You're halfway. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Weight-bearing exercises, that's what we want. 13, 14, and 15. Oh yeah. How are we doing? We're good? We got to do those open the coats. We have to. Ready? Let's go. Open. And open. Open. Now, if you need an option, just you could just lower your arms a little. They don't have to be straight out. But I would like a little bit of that motion of coming out and in. Yes. All right, we're halfway there, come on. Oh, your other option, let's keep it simple, would really just be to let go of the weights, right? You could still do the motion, but without the weights. I'm secretly just taking a break. <laughs> Come on. Out and in. Out and in. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two. And one. Yes. We are on our very last exercise for the core. We're going to work those obliques today. Weights by your side, hips, uh, excuse me, feet a little bit sh uh, shoulder width apart, a little bit wider, yes. Lean and up, ready? Lean and up, lean and up. Straight down, y'all, six. Don't worry about how far you're going down. Just make sure you're going straight down. So you don't need to compensate by going forward. Just keep it straight, straight to the side. All right, one more. And let's switch sides, ready? Let's go. Down. Down. Lean. Let that core, let those back muscles and those abdominals pull you back up. Come on, halfway. Nine. Ten. You have five more good ones. Um, exercise. It's called a Russian twist. I'm not sure where that name came from. I call them ray, ray, ray your backs just because that's more fun. You want your weights together. You want to lean back, but not all the way back. I don't want you leaning on the chair. And we're going to row to each side. Row. And you guessed it. We have to do 15 on each side. So 30 total. So we're halfway there, you can do it. And we are really on the home stretch, y'all. We're almost done. Five more. And 15, stand up. We're gonna repeat that whole set one more time. Waist by your side, lean that way, lean. Yes, lean, good. Straight down, 16. Keep breathing. Can we keep our abdominals in a little bit? I don't mean sucking your belly, 
just kind of tighten up. Yeah. You have three more. You can do this. 13, 14, and 15. Let's switch. Good. I know you're doing great. I know you're doing this whole thing without stopping. And if not, maybe you're just doing parts of it, and that would be great too. And maybe the next day you try it again, and you add another minute or two on. You're not competing against anybody. Do your workouts for you. One more. And have a seat. Back to row, row, row your boat. Ready, let's go. Either side, because we gotta do both. Try and keep your feet planted if you can. As always, the weights are optional. Guess what, we're halfway there. 15 more. stretch to one side. And then switch. And then up. Let's do your upper back. Fingers together. Stretch forward as if somebody's pulling your arms away. And then shin down. would be arms behind you, pull your shoulder blades together, and then chin up slightly. And release. Let's get our shoulders, one arm across your chest, hold it. Great job, y'all. Thanks for taking the time to do a video. I am so glad that you're motivated to keep working out while you're at home. I know it's hard. Good job. Get you a nice little stretch in the shoulders. And then we're gonna finish with just a stretch for your back. So all you're gonna do is lean forward. Hold your legs. Don't look at me. Just let your head hang down. As you come up, your head's the last thing up, and we do a big inhale up. And exhale, we do one more halfway inhale. And we bring our arms and we give ourselves a big hug. Yay! Great job, y'all. 